Okay, as promised, a quick overview of the media streaming setup that I'm going to put in the car. Um, I'll do another video of it in the car, obviously, just to give you a view of what it's all about. And this is all old gear um, being used for other purposes. So what you have in sight here is an old fan router now running DDWRT um, software. Um, beside that you've got a two and a half inch hard disk drive and underneath both of them you have the lowest model EE, EEPC 701 4G surf so it's it's very very low spec it's a 4G uh, 4 gigabit byte SSD 512 megs of RAM so it's running uh, a version of Linux called EE Ubuntu, which is, I've used the, the very stripped down version of that, so it doesn't have GNOME, doesn't have KDE, it's even some, I don't know, LXDE or something like that, some um, other GUI system that's acceptable on such a low spec machine. Um, it also is running a piece of software, and this is the important thing called MediaToom, which is a UPnP uh, media streamer, very easy to install, it's a one line install. Um, takes no effort at all and has a web interface which is even nicer so you can go in and basically say see all these um, movies and TV shows here please make them available to any device which is able to um, stream media so that's all of that the USB is connected to the laptop the laptops connected to the fan both of those will be powered using a simple um, inverter in the car from the cigarette lighter to um, AC so that's the bit that's interesting to me but not too interesting to the kids so what this is all about is letting the kids um, play movies and so on in the car what they do at the minute is they use these so these are Nokia N770s actually running the um, oldest version of the software I'm going to try the newer one today um, up until well this experiment they were uh, what the kids do is we have M player, the Linux M player installed on both of these, and in here where my finger is is a one gig RS MMC card onto which I can fit maybe two or three converted movies. Um, so you do have to convert them down to slightly lower res, sort of three twenty by whatever, um, but perfectly acceptable. I mean, there, there's great screens in these things uh, compared to a phone. Um, and but what Nokia did then, which is the bit that or that's been taking so much effort, is um, M Player and these other apps, these media apps can't um, can't stream. So you're you're limited to whatever you can fit on the memory card, which is a pain because if the kids are going on a five-hour journey to Cavan, um, you know they 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 get through whatever's on the card pretty quickly. So the idea here is that. These and if they have laptops that have Windows uh, Media Player, same deal, or, or VLC, they can do the same. Uh, they can all stream from the same central location. So if we look here at this one, I don't know if that's going to come out. Um, I've browsed to the um, using this media tune. So basically, you run the media streamer app on the N770, and it immediately, uh, um, when you connect to the to the fan Wi-Fi there, it immediately sees the media streamer. You connect to that, and it'll you know tap tap tap, and you'll see all of the movies and TV shows and so on that we've recorded. So if we see if this works now, probably won't be in demoitis. Well, it says buffering. So what we have here uh, in a moment. Is is it going to work? Is it going to work or is it not going to work? Um, give it a second. No, it's not going to work. So we have demoitis. Uh, typical. Let's try this one. See, does this one want to work? Or am I going to have to redo the entire video just because uh, the thing decided to not work? How are we getting on with this one? Oh, this one's working for some reason. I don't know what the difference is. There you go. Let's turn up the volume. And while we're doing that, I'll show you that. I'll go back and um, see if I can't get uh, the other one working. Groovy. Okay, so what you have there on that one is Home Alone. And what you have on this one is Dumbo. 
So these are it, just ripped off our DVDs here. We have to run them through um, some converters, as I said, to make them. It, as you can see, they're actually smaller than the screen, but it's more to do with CPU than screen size. The CPU is just not able to keep up with high res and um, full, I suppose, full widescreen movies. But that's it. I mean, that's really all, there is all to it. I'm going to run an experiment at some point where we, um, you know, we basically see how many we can stream simultaneously. So I've got two more laptops and see um, can we do that. Uh, and my investigations so far on Nintendo DS are that it can't stream, which is an awful pity. Um, but um, we keep working on that and they have to be con down converted even more. So as you see, working away there, as I said, that's a very, very low spec um, PC. Obviously, if you've got a NAS box, um, it's probably UPnP, so it's all most of this, and really then all you need is, is uh, the, the, the router here, so router plus NAS box, and then something like N770. So I also must check if things like an Android phone um, or N95 are able to stream. I don't know if they are, but if they were, that's two more devices any of the kids can use. Um, and if somebody wants to invent a media streamer for Nintendo DS, you'll make a fortune, seriously. You'll make a bloody fortune, so go make. And um, that's it. Uh, any questions, sure leave them in the comments.